loved sea turtles for a very long time. I would see them in the waters and lay nests, and I just fell in love with them. I used to walk the beaches with my grandmother looking for new sea turtle nests. Sea turtles are incredible animals. There's seven different species of sea turtles worldwide. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a number of those here. They are important in the ecosystem. They eat a lot of algae and seagrass off reefs, which help with coral reefs. They are one of those keystone species, uh, indicator species um, of a healthy environment. So if sea turtles are doing well, then we know that sharks are doing well, fishes are doing well, seagrasses are healthy. That's what we want. Unfortunately, our sea turtles worldwide are struggling. Light pollution is actually one of the biggest impacts on our hatchling loss. Sea turtles generally try to head towards the brightest spot on the horizon. The babies would head straight to the water and start their journey. Unfortunately, today, with our coastal lighting, that street light might be quite a bit brighter than the moon and stars, which means they'll head in the wrong direction. We hurt the environment, so we now need to help them. Plastic bags and plastic in our oceans look exactly like a jellyfish and some of these other things that a sea turtle might want to eat. I believe that conservation and education is one of the most important things that we can do for our environment. Nova Southeastern University and Broward County have worked closely together for over 25 years with the Broward County Sea Turtle Conservation Program. It's a unique opportunity for our students at NSU to be able to study an animal like this. The opportunity to be able to work with an endangered species really drew me to NSU. When I was searching for an appropriate grad school, it was one of the only schools that I was aware of that had a really strong sea turtle program. A lot of people don't realize is that Broward County is a very large sea turtle nesting beach. And only the females return to the beaches. So we get to see that female coming back as an adult, laying her eggs. We mark off the nests, and then we maintain those nest perimeters throughout the season. And when the turtles hatch, we monitor for that. And once they do, we excavate those nests, make sure there's no hatchlings stuck in there, as well as collect important nesting data. educational outreach. I really think that that is the foundation to the future and really educating the public, especially children, and making them aware of what they can do to help sea turtles. One of the very exciting programs is a new partnership with Broward County Parks Department and our involvement with the Carpenter House Marine Environmental Education Center in Hollywood, Florida. This is something that Broward County's never had before. We will initially start with one single sea turtle on site. We've got a pool there, state-of-the-art filtration to keep it healthy and happy. We'll have lots of education materials and activities to go along with learning all about sea turtles. The best way to learn is to enjoy what you're learning and to have fun doing it. Now we will have a live turtle for people to see. Our graduate students will give educational and tour programs to high school and elementary school kids and adults on the importance of why this wonderful facility is here. The Carpenter House is also going to feature our coastal marine environment. We've got extensive seagrass beds and coral reef ecosystems. I think one of the biggest things as scientists and educators that we can do is not hold all this great information that we're learning, but share it as widely as possible. Kids need an opportunity to get out of the classroom and go see things up close and in the real world. And so any support a person can give, whether it would be their time or their money, goes a long, long way to bettering the education of these children. All of this, however, takes money for scholarships for graduate students, for scholarships for individuals to do research. Money is unfortunately something a private not-for-profit university such as Nova Southeastern University needs. And the only way we can do it is through your help. I hope that when I have children, they're able to see sea turtles. I hope that I'm able to work with them for the rest of my life. Yeah, I just hope that they continue to increase and not decrease. One, two, three. Save the turtles!